welcome back. I am Simgasm's your Sim host, and I am here with a video collab with the amazing Lin Sane Gaming. Um, so with this video, basically we took each other's Sim selves and just kind of read did it, re gave it a little bit of a fashion makeover towards our specific style. So mine is Alpha and hers is a little bit of Maxis, but she did download some Alpha. So I'm excited to see um, how I corrupted her with the Alpha. <laughs> custom content so i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to check out lynn saint's version down in the description below and go ahead and give her a follow let her know that i sent you and that uh she is amazing because she is and uh yeah thank you i hope you enjoy yes, we'll start with your name as well what is your name my real name is christiana which is kind of difficult to pronounce if you're not norwegian or danish or swedish <laughs> So that's kind of why I chose the name Lynn Sane because my first name is Lynn with one N. Mm -hmm. And when I was younger, uh, I was really scared about telling my real name on the internet as well. <laughs> so I just put one N extra on my first name and gotcha. I thought that would be cool. <laughs> and uh, I've always kind of thought that I'm a little bit insane. So it kind of just mashed up perfectly. Okay. So Lynn Sane. So, um, so yeah, my name is Christiana. It means uh, Christian, like the religion, mm -hmm. uh, which I really don't relate to at all. So uh, I, I like my name, but I don't really like the meaning behind it. So, gotcha. yeah. Okay. Um, what is your favorite real life hobby? Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy sculpting. Oh, I've I seen do your a lot picture. of. Yeah, I've been sculpting this box recently, which is kind of like the first time I actually made a box. But I uh, also make sculptures, like tiny figurines and stuff like that. Jewelries. I do mostly polymer clay, do some air dry clay. Uh, uh, when we're moving now to our new house, we get this like really big outhouse mm -hmm. and we really want to make this into a big workshop. So I really want to buy, a, you know, these big, big ovens where you can actually burn like ceramics. Yeah. So I really want to start with that as well. So yeah, I really like the like tactile sense of actually having some clay in your hands and kneading it and squishing it and shaping it. So I think that would be my favorite hobby. I do have a lot of other hobbies as well, which mostly includes crafting. But yeah, sculpting would be my favorite. When did you start getting into sculpting? Uh, I think it's about, like for real, three years ago or something. Three and a half, maybe four. I really can't remember quite the date, <laughs> but I got into it because uh, my mom got really sick. And that was kind of like my coping mechanism. I didn't really play The Sims at the time. So uh, I just took some packets of really, really, really old clay, like really old crumbly clay mm -hmm. from her house. And I brought it home to mine and I was just sitting there and kneading. And I just realized like, this is so therapeutic. And ever since I've just fallen in love with it. Do you have an Etsy or anything that you sell your stuff on? No, not yet. Not yet? Okay. No. Uh, I want to get even better before I start doing that. And also my workspace is really limited in the house I live in right now. So everything that I touch of clay just gets really dusty and dirty. So I don't really feel comfortable taking money for it. Gotcha. Okay. Um, when did you start playing The Sims? I originally had The Sims 1 and 2 when I was a kid and a teenager mm -hmm. and then I moved out. I sold my games because I needed money for food Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I didn't play Sims 3 because I had a lot of other stuff going on in my life and I kind of like forgot that the game existed Yeah. and then about like I think it's like two years ago or something, my boyfriend bought Sims 4 for me because he thought I needed something else to do <laughs> besides just sitting around and because I haven't had a job in ages. Yeah. And uh, 
the whole situation with my mom being sick and uh, it just got me really down. So he just wanted to cheer me up and he bought the game for me and ever since I've been hooked and I have all the expansions back now <laughs> and the game packs and the stuff packs. So you can say I've been addicted to it since he bought it for me. So yeah. Um, what made you decide to start your channel? Um, I think it was because I actually started watching other people on YouTube do this and I was like, huh? Do people actually make videos <laughs> of themselves playing and building and whatnot? And I was like, well, I, I kind of want to do that. I want to see if I could actually do that. And I think the person who inspired me the most was probably The Sim Supply because He's the biggest channel, so his videos were actually the videos that appeared the most in my feed. Um, but after I actually got into the community, I realized that there are so many people doing this, and my feed is just filled up with different content creators now. Yeah. Do you have a favorite content creator? Oh, um... That's tough because I really like a lot of different people. Um, I actually, I, I think I enjoy like um, Simmer Boy. Oh yes, you have mentioned him yeah. in a couple of your videos or her. Yeah, I always yeah. say him because it has boy, but it's a her. Yeah, it's it's a her, and uh, I really love her videos. There are so much thought in put into them, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's just completely new kind of machinima that I've never seen before because it's so theatrical and it actually looks like a movie. Uh, so yeah, uh, Simmer Boy would be one. And I really do enjoy your videos. <laughs> Thank you. It's a bit different from what I make because you use a lot of alpha CCs, but I actually enjoy uh, watching what you can create with what I usually don't use. Yeah. So. And I did used to uh, watch a lot of Sim Supply. Uh, I haven't recently, I don't know why, but I just think that I've been more occupied with the smaller content creators because I really want to give them some recognition and watch time and yeah, just uh, support smaller channels. Yeah, I think that kind of help happens as we try to grow our channel is we start realizing I'm like, oh, there's there's more to this community than just all the big people mm -hmm. out there. And as yeah. we see like one person, we go to a next and it's just kind of like expands mm -hmm. from there. So um, and I also really, really like Simulisi. She's a builder. Okay. Um, so she does really awesome builds as well. And uh, I also really enjoy a lot of other small YouTubers like Miss Alunic, Simmer Erin, um, Pug Own Play Sims is also a channel I really enjoy. She makes animals from oh. Cats and Dogs expansions pack. So yeah, um, there's a lot of others I really want to mention, but there's so many that I kind of like, I forget the names, but yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people I really enjoy watching. Okay. Um, so, if you had your own lifetime achievement in the game, what would it be? Ooh. Um, I haven't done a lot of gameplay, so I'm not completely sure what that is, but I think I've stumbled upon it a couple of times. Um, but I think maybe like maxing out all the skills okay. would be cool yeah. to do one time. Just like all of the skills. Yeah. It's kind of like the <laughs> challenge that the Sim Supply has been doing, the Super Sim Challenge, mm -hmm. uh, where he's trying to max out all the skills and all the aspirations and all the um, jobs. So that would be a cool achievement to do in the game. I feel like that's something that you'd need to put your lifespan on long for, <laughs> unless you want it to be you... really intense. Yeah, I think you actually should uh, just not age at all. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Be a vampire. It will take... <laughs> yeah, something like that. I think that would take so much time. But it would be cool when I actually sit down to play. Uh, but I usually build, so... Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, which is your favorite uh, pack right now in The Sims 4? Oh, uh, I really love um, Get Together just because of the world. I really love Windenburg. Uh, I also really like Cats and Dogs because I'm a real cat person. So I really like all of the cat items they have in Cats and Dogs. Uh, and movie hangout stuff. That's a really nice pack as well. I love all the colorful pattern boheme hippie stuff as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And laundry day stuff. I really love the rustic kind of vibe Okay. on the items. I see that you have a kitty in your picture. What type of cat is that? Uh, that's not mine, actually. That's a friend's. Oh. Uh, please, please don't tell my cat. Don't tell your cat. <laughs> she'll, no, she'll be jealous. But yeah, that's a friend of mine. It's a, um, uh, if I remember correctly, it's a savanna cat. They get really large. They kind of look like a tiny leopard. It's a really cute cat. She's a kitten. Uh, my cat is a regular house cat, long-haired. Uh, gray and orange and black. She's super cute. Oh, what's her name? Uh, her name is Groa, which directly translates into gray, <laughs> because when we uh, rescued her uh, from the farm she was at, we were living there at the moment, and there was like this colony of cats, and I really didn't want to get attached to any of the cats because I knew they were mine. Mm -hmm. But uh, after a some time that after living there we kind of realized that these cats are not in a good position so we actually need to help them uh, but then i we had already given the little gray cat the name gray because it was easy to say oh i saw gray outside uh, so it kind of stuck when we rescued her and took her with us when we moved and we really haven't thought of another name <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, she's just gray. Oh, <laughs> but cute. she's not gray anymore. She was really gray when she was small, but she kind of turned into more strawberry blonde now. Little magical so. kittens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so you do use uh, Maxis Match CC. Do you have a favorite custom content creator? Oh, um, I really like the Plum Bob Tea Society. Okay. It's like a collective of um, of uh, custom content creators. I think they're like 15 or 20 people or something. Uh, they made a couple of like fan packs as well, like rustic wedding stuff and a garden pack and an alien pack. And then they also like make these just separate items as well. They have a lot of cool stuff and all of the creators that are in this society they also make their own stuff so yeah i really like them people who like maxis match should definitely check out plum bob tea society um what's one of your favorite videos that you've done yourself i actually really really like the first one i ever did which was a collab with uh, ml design TV, I think her channel name is. At least her name is Mindy. Uh, and the collab was that we gave each other a picture of a house, and then we should, we uh, were supposed to like draw inspiration from that picture, and then we also gave each other a theme. So she sent me a picture of a modern house, and then she said that the theme was traditional Japanese. Ooh. So I kind of like mixed them together and made like a traditional Japanese house that had like this remodeled bit on it at the front which is modern so I spent so many hours on that and I'm really proud of that build so I think that's one of my favorites um, yeah I also really like my mushroom house on the outside I think I, uh, <laughs> I made it really clear in my voiceover in that video I really don't like the inside but it seems to be my most popular build on the gallery, so something must have been right about the build, at least. Okay. I'm going to have to link both of those in the description below so that people can go check those out as well. Um, yeah, cool. And then uh, one of my last questions is, what is your goal 
for your um, your channel that's not sub sub goal related? Just having fun, really. Mm -hmm. uh, getting to know people, doing some collabs. Um, I kind of went in with the focus of I really wanted to make this channel big, but after doing this channel only for a couple of months, I've kind of like, yeah, I don't really want to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to have fun. I don't want to stress out. I don't want to feel like obligated to actually film everything I do when I play. I actually also want to have some playtime for myself, which I don't necessarily need to share with anyone else. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I just, I think my goal is just to have fun. Um, not stress about it. Yeah. And make awesome things. Build super awesome things. I like that. I like that a lot. And I can understand exactly where you're coming from, too. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for having this interview with me and doing another awesome collab with me. I can't wait to see what you created. Thank you. And I'll talk to you're you You're welcome. Later. Yeah. Right. Bye. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed that little awkward interview that I had with the great Lynn Sane. Go ahead and check out her video. It'll be in the end screen or in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Nico, Nico, eh?